I'm excited to share my top five bubble IO plugins that have truly made a difference in my projects. These are tools that I use every day, and I think you'll find them incredibly helpful too. First up is the full OpenAI GPT-4 Turbo plugin. Integrating OpenAI into your application has never been easier, and this plugin stands out for me because of its versatility. What sets it apart for me is the range of features that it offers. From handling translation in over 50 languages to generating and editing images, it's very powerful. The chatbot feature is a highlight. It's super accurate and understands context very well. And the fact that it's from a reputable plugin author gives that extra bit of confidence. It's like having a powerful multi-skill tool all in one plugin for your Bubble app. The cost is $5 a month or a $25 one-time fee. Next is the Toolbox plugin. This one is just super handy. It lets you link parts of your app together and run JavaScript easily. The cool part, you can trigger actions from one part of your app to another, even if it's not on the same page. It's like having a magic button that makes things happen across your app, and it's a free plugin. Then there's the PDF plugin. It's all about making your life easier when you need to create PDFs, and sometimes things are difficult. You can turn your app content into a PDF in no time, no need for any complicated steps or external tools, plus you have full control over what gets included in your PDFs, pages, groups, etc. It's straightforward and it just works. The cost is $10 a month or a $45 one-time fee, and it's also included in the Zero Code bundle for $20 a month. Number four is AirChart Pro. If you ever need to show data in a chart, then this plugin is probably for you. It has over 180 different chart types, like bar, line, pie, and more. The best part, you can customize most of them to make your own design preferences to match your application. So while there are some other chart plugins that I really enjoy, this one seems to handle most of my use cases. It's $5 a month or a $70 one-time fee. Lastly is the material icons. Honestly, I never use bubble default icons because these ones are just so much better. They make any app look sleek and professional. It's always my first step in every new build. Just add material icons and you're good to go. This is a free plugin as well. So these are the plugins that I find incredibly useful in my Bubble IO projects. Remember, it's important to work with tools and people that you trust. That's why I recommend only going with reliable plugin authors like Bubble's own built plugins, Rapid Dev, Zero Code, Minimum Studio, and others. And if you're relying on their functionality for a core feature within your application, you should reach out to the plugin author to see if they'd be open to commission work should you need to modify their plugin a bit for yourself. Trust me, you'll thank me later if this day ever comes has happened to me and it's been very helpful. Finally, remember that plugins are loaded on every single page, whether you're using them or not. So try to limit the amount of plugins that you actually use, and if you're no longer using them, to remove them from your application. Otherwise, it's all about finding the right tool that works for you and your project. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you in your own bubble journey.